Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com for premium picks, DwyerSportsBetting.com on Roku, Dwyer Boxing News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. You know, in the Kell Brook Carson Jones rematch, Kell Brook showed you why he's great. Right? Very short, straight punches. Right? Kell Brook, you know, was able to literally dole out power shots very quickly with very short punches that were very straight. Right? Even his body shots, he would lean in, his punches didn't have a loop on them. Now compare and contrast that with Edwin Rodriguez's destruction of Dennis Grochev in a fight that you have to see because it marks a major arrival. Understand, boxing is rock, paper, scissors. Right? Styles make fights. One style looks unbeatable until it runs into another style. Edwin Rodriguez's style couldn't be more different than Cal Brook's style. But yet, Edwin Rodriguez's style is as effective, right? Where Cal Brook throws very short, straight, quick punches. Edwin Rodriguez comes in and his upper body is on a swivel. As I said in the pre-fight video, this guy can hide his upper body. You don't know where the guy is going with it. And so what that has allowed him to do, what he does to Grochev, and it's an eye-opener that needs to be looked at, is he's able to come in with punches on wide angles. I'm talking about very wide angles. 180 degrees from Kell Brook. He's able to dodge his body over here. Then he comes in with a punch that I can't even put in this video frame. Right? And he's so balanced. His balance is the key. That he's able to come up to Grochev. He's moving his body. Grochev can't hit him up top. And then he's landing punches at such a loop that Grochev can't even put a hand up to block the punches, right? Even his shots to the body, he leans. Again, hand out the frame. The punches are at such wide angles that Grochev couldn't figure out the angles. In the first round, it's clear that Grochev had not encountered anything like this in sparring leading up to the fight. And of course, Rodriguez has had this style his entire life. So these punches were accurate. He's as accurate as Cal Brook. But he's throwing curveballs, not fastballs. And they're hard curves, right? It's really a lesson in how to destroy your opponent with upper body movement and angles, right? The great Bill Russell, basketball great, says that the great ones are always different. That you can't judge them by conventional evaluation. That the great ones always are bringing something unconventional to the table. Right? Understand that Kell Brook and Edwin Rodriguez are in the same sport, but their interpretations of the sport are vastly different. Right? One of the knocks on Kell Brook is that he's too upright. Right? His body's there to get hit. The argument is that once his legs slow down a little bit in a fight and you're able to get closer to him, you'll know where to find him. Now contrast that with Edwin Rodriguez, where you can't find his upper body. 
this guy literally is leaning. As I said, you know, the, the top of his body is almost like a gyroscope, right? This guy is leaning all over the place. And, of course, he's throwing punches at angles where you really can't figure out exactly when the punch is going to land. It's fascinating that in the same sport, both styles can be very successful. It's a shame, by the way, that these guys are in different weight classes because it would be an intriguing style matchup to see Kell Brook against Edwin Rodriguez, right? To see whether Kell Brook, with faster, straighter punches, could literally get Edwin Rodriguez out of his game where Rodriguez is leaning and throwing hooks. In any event, Dennis Grochev, a fighter who normally is able to operate from the outside, right? You would have thought that this fight would have gone a few rounds. But incredibly, Grochev gets overpowered. Rodriguez is hiding his upper body while coming forward, while throwing heavy punches. And understand, Rodriguez is the kind of guy who doesn't come forward in a straight line. In other words, he waits for you to make a move, then he comes in. He can cover ground. You've heard me talk about ring coverage. Guys who can start here and then end 10 feet in front of them. This is what I doubt Adrian Broner has. Well, Edwin Rodriguez has it. And he literally works his way inside multiple times on Dennis Grochev and absolutely destroys him. Grochev gets his body taken out in the first round. Right? You can tell Grochev, who's an excellent athlete with excellent stamina, has been hit in the rib cage so many times that you can tell he's having a problem breathing. He doesn't know what's going on. The Edwin Rodriguez performance is easily one of this year's most dominant performances by any fighter in any weight. I believe I've posted a link to the fight on dwireboxinggame.blogspot.com. Give it a look. It's compelling. Just understand in boxing, there's more than one way to get to heaven, right? You don't have to be a straight puncher to be as devastating as Edwin Rodriguez is against Dennis Grochev. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com and hypothetically, tell us who you think would win a fight between Cal Brook very fast, very straight puncher, but very upright and very in front of you. And Edwin Rodriguez punches with a loop, but elusive, not quite in front of you. Power shot heavy. Let me hear from you. Thanks for stopping by.